Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Spider 3 Elite and seeing if it's worth picking up as a budget colorometer in 2018. So without further ado, let's get to it. Released, I think, back in 2007, though I couldn't find out definitively, the Spider 3 Elite was Datacolor's flagship colorometer for display calibration at the time. Not only can it calibrate a modern LCD, but it's also designed to calibrate projectors and even CRTs, an attractive feature for someone like me who still uses a Trinitron on a daily basis. In terms of OS support, I tested it on macOS 10.4 Tiger, 10.5 Leopard, 10.14 Mojave, Windows XP, and Windows 8.1, and it worked perfectly across all of them. The software even supports Macs with PowerPC processors. I didn't try it on Windows 10 though, because I don't actually have a computer running Windows 10. Now, before someone else says it in the comments, I'm gonna say it here. This colorometer is not as accurate as the newer spiders or even more professional solutions from back in its day but it is still worlds better than trying to calibrate your monitor by eyesight. It's a funny looking little thing. The shape kind of reminds me of a Covenant Ghost Speeder from Halo. The counterweight has the data color logo, and that suction cup on the bottom is to stick it on a CRT. Overall, the whole thing feels well built enough to last for quite a while. For a test, I fired up my PowerBook G4 and installed the Spider software. When you first launch it, you're greeted by a pre-flight checklist of sorts, reminding you of a few things to do before you get started. After that, you select what type of display you'll be calibrating, then select your calibration targets. I always set my gamma to 2.2, my white point to 6500K, and my brightness to 120 nits. Then just drape the thing over the display so it lines up with the outline and hit next and it'll begin calibrating. It usually takes seven to 10 minutes for it to do its thing. When it's done, take it off, name and save your calibration profile, and set how often you want it to remind you to recalibrate. Then next, you can switch between calibrated and uncalibrated views on the fly to see the difference. Depending on your monitor, it may not change a whole lot, but for my PowerBook here, it actually made quite a difference. Afterward, you can see your display's color gamut in comparison to the sRGB and Adobe RGB standards and look at more in-depth info like your Delta E values. The Spider can also do a whole bunch of analysis stuff that I don't really have time to get into and quite frankly don't fully understand. So is it worth the $25 I paid for it? For some of my monitors, it has made a huge improvement and while it might not be as accurate as the newer models, it makes up for it by supporting almost any PC or Mac made since the turn of the century. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out and consider subscribing if you want to see what I make next. I'll see you guys next time.